Oh, hey, by the way, you want a box of Cuban cigars? <laughs> I smoked one last night. I got nauseous. No, I don't want them. I'll take it. No, I'll take it. What is it? Here you go. A cigars? Yeah, Cubans. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the kind that Castro smoked. You can't buy them anyway. Castro, huh? But I could hear a cigar, but yeah. Yeah. Federal Express. Federal Express? Come on up. Federal Express? I'm not expecting a package. <gasps> you know what you just did? You let a burglar in the building. <laughs> you think so? Federal Express? Of course. That's the oldest trick in the book. You know, it might not be a burglar. It could be a murderer. So you want to just abolish all home package delivery? Yes. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> Wait, did... Uh, Who is it? Federal Express. Okay, good. I came back for you. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I missed you. Really? Yeah, yeah missing. seriously. Yeah, yeah, me too, miss. I miss. Yeah, <laughs> big. Missing going on. Yeah. 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 Hey, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get a match. Oh, God. Whose right. suitcase is this? Oh, it's my parents. My father came up to see a back specialist. Oh, God. It's probably from sleeping on that sofa. <laughs> Boy, you look really great. Yeah. You lie. No, no, you really look great. <laughs> so tell us about the trip. How's Dr. Rustin? Oh, he's fine. Things are good? Yeah, you know. Uh-oh. <laughs> what uh-oh? Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> what? It's a tell. You got a tell. What tell? What's a tell? When you ask someone about their relationship and they touch their face, you know it's not going too well. Go ahead, ask me how it's going with somebody. Um, how's it going with the Alice? Good. Doing good. <laughs> and the higher up on the face you go, the worse the relationship is getting. You know, it's like, pretty good. Not bad. I gotta get out. How high did I go? You almost hit the nose. <laughs> What, are you eating my peanut butter out of the jar with your disgusting index fingers? <laughs> this is a sickening display. Well, I'm not eating bread now. I'm off bread. You're off bread. <laughs> so what happened? Is it over? No, not quite. Why not? Well, he was my psychiatrist, you know? I mean, he knows all my patterns. He knows in relationships that I always try to find some reason to leave, and so he says, as my doctor, he can't allow me to do this, so he's not letting me leave. What do you mean, not letting you? He has this power over me, okay? I mean, he has this way of manipulating every little word that I say. He's like a Svengali. Svengali. What did I say? Svengali. Svengali? I did not say Svengali. George. Svengali. I don't see how I could have said Svengali. Well, maybe he's got, like, a cheerful mental hold on you. You know, I can't find a match anywhere. You know what you should do? You should tell this guy you're seeing somebody else. That's the easiest way to get out of these things. No, it's not going to work with this guy. No, you just tell him uh, an old boyfriend's come back into your life. I don't think so. Nice try. Took a shot. It's a good cigar. Wow!